Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome to another video and in today's video I am going to be sharing with you all the books that are on my main TBR shelf as well as the TBR crate that I've got next to it and everybody seems to be uploading these lately just letting you know all the books that are on their TBR. Some people are doing like literally all of their unread books. That would just take me forever because I own over 2,000 books. So I added it up the other day of books that I had received all of last year and got around Christmas and including the books that are going to be in my January book haul. And I added them all up and I have 2,025 books I think it ended up being. So just a little bit over the 2,000 now which is scary and it's daunting, which means I need to just crack on with my reading and just get it like done, stop like spending books. I know that's what everybody says on booktube, like I'm not gonna spend any more money on books and then it happens. So yeah, I just want to share with you my immediate TBR. So on the shelf, I recently sorted out to books that were on like my top books of I think like 2015, top books of 2016, top books of 2017 that didn't get read to reading and including some books that I would like to get read in 2018 so this includes all of those books as well. Also some books I just really, really want to read, books that I want to continue on with some series of. So yeah without further ado let's get started. I'm first of all going to start with the crate that's next to my shelf because that's just going to be a lot easier and I can get through it a lot quicker. So I've got some currently reading books that I'm in the middle of reading that I've just put down for the time being. So they are all on my Goodreads as currently reading. So the first of which is Katie Ford's The Christmas Stocking and Other Stories. I started this around Christmas. I've read like three stories from it now and so I've got like a few left. So I'm literally like halfway through this now. So that's one of the books that are on my current reading. The next of which is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. And I am near to the halfway mark of this actually. I'm on chapter 10. And I'm actually really, really enjoying this so far. And then next of all, I've got Shadow of the Fox by Julie Kagawa. I started this book and I am on page 54, this book. But when I started it, I was actually really, really enjoying it. And again, like, these two books are on people's top books of 2018 and same with this next one actually that I'm currently in the middle of reading which is Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Adeyemi and I am near to the halfway mark actually considering it's a very chunky book and I'm on page 212 so again very popular book on people's top books of the year and then the final currently reading book is Beardy's World by Joyce Ives I started this for a blog tour and I'm on page 14 of this book. I am lying. There's another book that I'm in the middle of reading and that's Summer at Hope Meadows by Lucy Daniels, which is the first book that's in the series. If you guys don't know, I tell you about it every time as well, but the Animal Arc series, which was written like in the 90s, around about that time, about animals, veterinary school. This is Mandy when she's an adult so she is a vet herself now so this is her tales so this is the first book so i started this last summer and i just haven't continued so i'm kind of middle of that so those are my currently reading books and then i've got some books that i would really like to read this is a recent purchase of mine that is shadow hunters and denizens of downworld cassandra clare illustrated by cassandra g so it's an illustrated history of notable so this won't take long to read, so I might end up like reading this really soon actually. Probably this month, I don't know, who knows, maybe February, who knows. Actually yeah, I'm going to read this for the booktube games. So yeah, this book, recently I got it with Christmas vouchers for Christmas. <laughs> so yeah, very excited to give this one a read. And then next of all, a book that I got for Christmas, which is Mirage by Samaya Dowd. Dowd? I'm gonna go with Dowd. So it just sounds better. So again, yeah, some people have been talking about this book, so I got this as a Christmas present. 
And then next of all, I have Stalking Jack the Ripper by Kerry Maniscalco. A lot of people love this series. A couple don't really. I, I have heard some mixed things about it, but mostly it's good things. Um, especially about like the whole series in general. So that's a book that I just really, really want to read. Next of all, the next book that's in the Beautiful Darkness, and this is Cami Garcia Margot Stone, this is a Beautiful Creature series, and this is the second book, so I've read the first book a few years ago now, and I need to continue on with it. I remember everything that happened in the first book because I also watched the movie, because I love the movie. So yeah, this is why this book's there, because I want to continue with that series. Same with Perfect by Celia Ham. I would like to reread Flawed, and then I can go on to reading this. I loved Flawed so, so much, so I'm looking forward to continuing on with this series. Next of all, I have The Crimes of Grindelwald, the original screenplay by J.K. Rowling. I read the Fantastic Beast one last year, and I really enjoyed it. And then I saw the film of this, which is a lot darker, I might add, and so I just eventually would like to read the screenplay of this and just dive into it again, but in book form. I've also got Poison Princess by Cresley Cole. This is the first book that's in the Arcana Chronicles, but I know this is like a very muchly loved series and paranormal, a dark, mysterious guy. What can you not love about it? And I've got Uglies by Scott Westerfeld. It's like the original UK cover and I have owned it for a few years now and yeah so it sounds silly but I received a review like the book that's in the spin-off of this series so I would like to read Uglies, read the whole series and then I could read that spin-off book that I've got so yeah I am intrigued about Uglies though like I literally am so intrigued about it. Next of all I have The Boy Most Likely To by Huntley Fitzpatrick. I have read My Life Next Door, which is actually on my to reread list out of my standalones. And I haven't yet read this one by Honey Spence Patrick, but I love the first book that I read by them. So yeah, I'm looking forward to reading it. I also do own what I thought was true by this author. But yeah, I just would like to get this one read. I've also got Love Song by Sophia Bennett. And Again, this is a contemporary that I just really, really want to read that I have put on some TBRs and just haven't read. And I'm feeling that this is on a list of books that I need to read as well. So, yeah. Next of all, I have Ringer by Lauren Oliver, which is a sequel to Replica, which I really enjoyed. So yet again, this book, if you don't know, you flip it. So you've got like Lyra's side of the story, which reads like this way. And then if you flip it like, whoosh, you got Gemma side of the story, which then reads this place eventually. Somewhere in the middle, they do meet. And it happened with the first book and I really enjoyed it. So yeah, I still remember everything that happened in the first book. So I would like to read the sequel this year. This was the book that was on my first ever TBR on this channel. And that is A Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. It's huge, it's massive, it's very daunting. That's why I've been putting it off just because it's so big. But this is a classic and the writing guys is so tiny, my god, but I need to read it just because it was my first TBR but it has over 1200 pages guys, oh my god, so huge, that's what she said. Next of all I've got The Fearful by Keith Gray, this is on one of my topics to read in whatever year and I've owned it for years. So, I need to get it read. And actually, it's based on a legend that's in the past and now I really enjoy my historical fiction books. I'm all for it. Then I have Hex Hall by Rachel Hawkins. So, this book I've owned for a few years as well. It's the first book that's in this witchy sort of series. I've been told it's like really fun. So yeah, look forward to reading it. I then have Unspeakable by Abby Rushton. This is a LGBTQIA plus sort of novel. And I really want to read it. Plus it's been on one of my books to read and 
whatever year. So I need to get it right as well. Perfect Chemistry by Simone Alcalaz. This was on like my second book haul, which is why this is here. So if you guys don't know, I did a reaction to my book hauls. I did a reaction to my first ever book haul. I did a reaction to my second one. So you'll find those somewhere around. I'll link them down below if you'd like to watch those, watch my reactions on like what books I've read, what books I haven't. So this is on my second ever book haul and I still haven't read it. I need to get this book read. Next of all I have the first book that's in the Morganville Vampire series by Rachel Kane. Look at this mass market paperback sort of thing. Isn't it cute? I don't know. But yeah, so I've owned this for years. I think I own all the books in the series actually because at the time I was in one of those really weird phases where I was like I have to buy all the books in the series just so that I can marathon them all. Now I'm a lot better. If I haven't read the first book I don't tend to buy the sequel. I, I do on occasion but I don't tend to buy the sequel until I've read the first book just because of the fact that I might not enjoy the first book. So yeah this I've owned for a few years, that's why it's here on my TBR, I need to get it read and see what I think about it. Then I have Starters by Alyssa Price. I can't remember if this was on another book to read in a certain year or if it was on a really early TBR. All I know is that I've owned it for a few years. I I can't remember what I, how I got this book, like whether I got it for review. I have a funny feeling I did get it for review a few years ago. That's really bad that I actually haven't got around to reading it if that is the case. So I am so sorry. I will I will give it a read. Hopefully sometime this year. Next of all I have The Farm by Emily McKay. This is on a list of books to read in the year. I've also owned it for a few years. This is a kind of like dystopian vampire series as far as I'm aware and I'm very very intrigued to give it a read. I then have Love Bomb by Jenny McLachlan. The reason this is here is because it's one of the book series that I need to continue on with and there are other books that are in the series. I read Flirty Dancing by this author. This is I think the next one along. Next of all, 0.4 by Mike Lancaster. I know this has a sequel. This was on like my second book haul again so that's why I need to read it. It's a sci-fi novel. So yeah, I'm really, really intrigued to give it a read. So I have the Sapphire Blue by Kirsten Gear. The reason this is here is so that I can continue on with this series. I love Ruby Red so much. There's a movie that's out in it that they luckily dubbed in English and I've got it on DVD. Love it so much so I don't need to reread that book. I can literally just go straight to Sapphire Blue. But I love it so much. I don't know why I haven't continued and I feel really bad for that. And yeah, I just, I need to do it. Next of all, I have Proxy by Alex London. I can't remember why I've got this on my immediate TBR. I literally got these like last year. The ones that are in this quote, I collected them last year. So I think I got this because it was in a book haul or a book that I needed to read in a specific year. So I think this is a dystopian novel. I know it has a sequel called Guardian and I remember being really hooked. So yeah, I need to go right. Next of all I have Challenger Deep by Neil Schusterman. I've owned this for a few years and I think it's on one of my top books to read in whatever years. I haven't revisited those videos which is bad, I should have done that before this video. But hey ho, that's what happens. So yeah, I think this is his standalone novel and some people said they really enjoyed it actually. I haven't had like loads of people talking about it but Neil Schusman's very popular at the moment especially with this Scythe series. So yeah, I should really read his other book. I read Dry by Neil and Jarrah Schusterman last year. Really enjoyed it so so much. So I'm looking forward to reading his other works. Next of all I have Vampire Diaries The Return Nightfall by LJ Smith. So this is the latest book in the Vampire Diary series that I'm up to, which is book number five. There's like, I think, 13 books that are in this series, which I near, near enough own them all, because again, this was another series where I bought loads of copies of, of each and every one. And yeah, so I'm looking forward to diving into the Vampire Diaries world again, because I finished this series, I finished the originals, and there's now the spin-off of the originals, 
which I need to watch because they've got like seven or eight episodes of that now and that's called Legacies. So it's not out in the UK but I'm sure there's a way that I could watch it online somewhere. So yeah, this is the next book in the series that I need to read. Next of all I have Safe House, Missing Safe House by Meg Cabot. If you don't know guys, Meg Cabot is one of my favourite authors ever. She's an auto boy author for me. I love her so much. She's written the Princess Diary series. She's written the Airhead trilogy, which I've read and loved all of those two. She's written loads of series actually, and she's, oh, she's just so amazing. So this is one of her series, which actually there's a TV show that's based off of this, but it's like an adult series. And it's called like Missing. And there's like a number to it, but I can't remember the number. Anyway, so this is the next book in the series. I think this is the third book. First book was When Lightning Strikes. And yeah, so I need to continue on with this series. This is about this girl that gets struck by lightning one day, and then she ends up being able to see these missing kids like on milk cartons, and she just can see exactly where they are. And she's it's kind of like an investigating story. It's really awesome. Like, it sounds probably really good, but honestly, it's even better when you read it. Next of all I have Arise by Tara Hudson. This is the sequel to Hereafter which I read and I really enjoyed so I just need to continue on with this. And then I have The Death Cure by James Dashner which is the third book that's in this series. Oh my god like so I need to continue on with this. I have watched all the movies and this one's gonna break my heart but I'm all ready for it. Next of all I have, there's Someone Inside Your House by Stephanie Perkins. This is her standalone like slasher thriller YA novel, which I haven't yet read, but I've heard it's like quite interesting. It's had some mixed reviews, but makes me more intrigued to give it a read. I've got Bumped by Megan McCafferty. I know that there's a sequel to this, I think called Thumped. Again, this was in my second book haul, so I've owned it for a few years now, so I need to get rid. So I have Ink and Bone by Rachel Kane. I did previously own this, I started reading it, I DNF'd it, and then I've recently got it again because I just love the sound of the premise. And it was a few years ago since I read it, so when I saw it again, it was a sign I needed to get it again. So I'm hoping that I enjoy it this time because, and I love Rachel Kane, so. Hopefully I'll enjoy it the second time around. So what I have Poisoned by Sue Mayfield. This is a really old book. I read Voices. Not I don't yeah, not last year. The year before last, I think, in 2017. And I really enjoyed it. That was a book that I started reading in secondary school or high like high school, I suppose you guys in America. And I found it again. And then I found that there was a sequel, which is a lot shorter. So it involves the characters again. It's very short. I might put this on my February TBR for the Booktube Games, because I'm planning on putting like really short books on my February TBR as much as possible. So yeah, that's why it's on my immediate TBR. Next of all, I have Broken by Marianne Kelly, which is the sequel to Hidden. <laughs> the book was on the back here, just hinting me. So I read that. A fair few years ago, I think I need to reread it because I don't remember anything that happened in it. Sometimes in books you can get them where they let you know like what happened, like previously this is what happened or they explain it really well, but just in case I should read the first book again just to refresh my memory and then I can go on to reading the sequel. There's a few books left in this crate now, next of which I have is The New Hunger by Isaac Maron. So this is actually a prequel to Warm Bodies, so it's very short, so again, another book that I'll probably plonk onto my February TBR, knocks it off of my TBR, and it's a great book to use for the booktube games, and yeah, I'm intrigued to learn more about Warm Bodies, Warm Bodies I love so much, so yeah, I'm really intrigued. Girl of Nightmares by Ken Deb Blake is the sequel to Anna Dressed in Blood, which I read a couple of Halloweens ago. I actually really enjoyed it and so this is a sequel which I've owned for a few years so I just would like to finish and complete this. Next of all I have The Secret Circle, The Captive Part 2 and The Power by LJ Smith. 
This was actually turned into a TV series a few years ago, but they decided to axe it. I was so annoyed because I loved it so, so much. And yeah. Anyway, so this is the book series to it. And this is the next book. So this is book number two. So I would like to continue on with this series. Next of all, I have Still Me by Jojo Moyes, which is book number three that's in the Me Before You series. And I love the first book. I really enjoyed the second book. And so I really look forward to continuing on and reading Still Me and seeing what I think about it. Yeah, I'm super excited. Again, with the One Body series, the actual sequel to it is The Burning World. Why is it married? So this is actually the American arc that I've got of it and I'm really super intrigued to see what I think about this book and hopefully I do enjoy it. Yeah, I just, it's a lot thicker and bigger than the first book so it's very daunting but I'm looking forward to seeing what I think about it. And the final book that's in this crate is The Waterfire Saga Book number two, Rogue Wave by Jennifer Donnelly. These books are absolutely gorgeous. Look at the covers of these guys. So pretty. So the first book was Deep Blue. I remember everything that happened in it. It's a mermaid sort of book. This one, the font is purple. The first book, the font is blue. It's just so pretty. So yeah, it's a continuation of it. And that is why this is in my TBR crate because it's a series that I need to continue on with. Next of all, I have the first shelf of my TBR bookshelf. It's my main bookshelf that's in my flat. And yeah, let's get started with the books that are on this list. So these all contain my review books. Not all of them, but the ones that are of like main priority. So normally it's like if I receive one in the mail, it goes onto this shelf and then I tend to sort of like put some back downstairs just so that I sort of make room. So first of which I have is Anna and the Swallow Man by Gabrielle Savitt. This is my art copy of this. I've owned this for a few years now and yeah still haven't got it read. It's also on my top books of I think it was 2017 to read so yeah it's a very short book so I might put this on my February TBR with my other short reads. So what I have Good and Gone by Megan Fraser Blake Moore and this is a 2017 release which I actually got this I think the very beginning of last year so I got it past review they just had some spec copies to give out so I still would like to read and review it. I think it's kind of like a road trippy novel, so I'm all for it. Next of all, this is a book that's very, very high up on my TBR list for the review books, and that's Heretics Anonymous by Katie Henry. It sounds amazing, and it's on a lot of people's topics of last year. It was a 2018 release, so it's very, very high up, and I'm gonna be reading it in 2019, that is for sure. Then I have Always, Forever, Maybe by Anika Rose Risi. This is a 2018 release, a summer release. I unfortunately didn't get around to reading it and it was past the release date by then. So I would like to get this read at some point. And then I've got The Ladies Guide to Petticoats and Piracy by Mackenzie Lee. This is the sequel to Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue, which I still haven't read. I received this late last year and I'm glad that I have actually, so I'm looking forward to reading the first book and then going on to this. Next we'll have Suicide Club by Rachel Heng, another 2018 release that I will hopefully get to this year. The Waking Land by Callie Bates, I think. This is... when did this come out? I don't know whether this is a 2018 release or whether this is a... I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Where's the date? Where is the date? This is definitely an arc. I have no idea whether this was 2018 or 2017 release, either way, it's, it needs to be read. I have The Bells by Daniel Clayton. This has got a sequel that's coming out, so I'd like to get this read. I received this around the release, which I think was last February, something like that. So I would like to get this read. And I have Awakened by James S. Murray and Darren Wearmouth. 
James Murray is of Impractical Jokers, so this is kind of like a thriller horror novel. Next of all I have Vortex by Jodie Cross, which is the sequel to Tempest, I think it's called, which is on my reread shelf, so I need to reread that and then I can go on to reading this. I next of all have Skyward by Brandon Sanderson, another book that's on a lot of people's top books of 2018 and I was very lucky enough to receive a copy of this, so I hope to read this in 2019. You guys are gonna love seeing this, Car <laughs> Caraval by Stephanie Garber. This is my art copy. A lot of you guys are gonna be going like, I wanna trade you for your art. Well, I haven't read it yet, so until I read it, who knows what's gonna happen. So yeah, I, I haven't read this yet. The Catalyst by Helena Coggan. I think this was a 2017 release. No, 2015 release. My God, that's even worse. So, four years, nearly four years now. I'm so bad with some of my review books. This is like a guilt trip. Noah Could Never by Simon James Green. Need to reread the first book. Noah Can't Even again, which was hilarious. So I'm looking forward to reading that again. So this is a 2018 release. Yeah, I just, I just need to continue on with it basically. The Boneless Mercies by April Genevieve Chacholk another review book that I received last year, so I need to get that one read, as well as The Price Guide to the Occult by Lesla Walton, I need to get that one read as well, and this is Rejoice by Stephen Erickson, A Knife to the Heart, 2018 release, but this came out in October. Salt and Stone by Victoria Scott is a sequel to Fire and Flood, which I read, really enjoyed, so I need to continue on with that series. The Spooks Apprentice by Joseph Delaney, which is the first book that's in this series, which I need to read. Night of the Party by Tracy Matthias, 2018 release, which I just haven't been able to read yet. Red Rising by Pierce Brown, I've owned this for a few years, still haven't got around to reading it yet, soz. Pretty Deadly by Joe Schreiber. Had it for a few years, still haven't read it yet. 20 Questions for Gloria by Martin Bedford. I've had this since 2016, still haven't been able to read it yet. Mafiosa by Catherine Doyle, the third and final book that's in this series. Need to read it. Fragments of the Lost by Megan Miranda. I got this, I think, 2018. Still haven't read around to reading it. Bad Girls with Perfect Faces by Lynn Wantgarden. I think this is a 2018 release, still haven't got around to reading it. The Wonder of Us by Kim Colbertson, 2018 release, which I haven't got around to reading. Roomies by Sarazar and Tara Autobrando, had this for a few years, still haven't got around to reading it. Dear Evan Hansen by Val Emich, Stephen Levinson, Benjamin Sec and Justin Paul, 2018 release, which I still haven't read. Imposters by Scott Westerveld, this is that spin-off series, Two Uglies, still haven't read it. It was a 2018 release though. Don't Stop Thinking About Tomorrow by Shabon Kerham, 2018 release, still haven't got around to reading it yet. Jinxed by Amy McCullough, this is a 2018 release, still haven't got around to reading this. The Door Let Led to Wear by Sally Gardner, had this for a few years, still haven't got around to reading it. And finally from the shelf, Small Spaces by Sarah Epstein, 2018 release, which I still haven't got around to reading. So my battery died and then it got really dark so I had to set up my softbox, which is like right behind you now. And let's carry on before the battery dies again. So the last set of books that go on this shelf here, which are between these two bookends here, is my TBR for the rest of the month. So you guys are aware of what my January TBR is if you've been watching my video, but I'm just gonna quickly share these with you anyway. So I've got Beautiful Broken Things by Sarah Bernard, which is a book release that I unfortunately haven't read yet and the reason it's on my TBR is because I've got the sequel Fierce Fragile Hearts by Sarah Bernard which comes out in Feb so I thought I'd read this and then I could read these two back to back so these two contempts are on my Jan TBR my unwrapped book was The Next Together by Lauren James so I'm very excited about this because it's a time travel contemporary then I got Ban for Ban by Jenny Han and Siobhan Vivian, which the new cover sort of release thing. So very, very excited about that. And Shantae by Jita Trellis, which is another 
February release, 21st of Feb, to be exact. Then I've got Dramas of a Teenage Heiress by Katie Virtual, very short read but it's a sequel that I really like to read. And then my reread, The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken, I want to reread it so I can continue and finish this series finally. And then I've got Dumplin' by Julie Murphy and another review book which I put on my journey to TBI just because of the biennial bibliothon but that's gone and passed now and that is Empress of All Seasons by Miko Jean so I got this in December but I'm still intrigued to give it a read so those books were on the top shelf. Now I'm going to move on to the books that were on the middle shelf, like right here, which are the paperbacks. These are a mixture of series as well as standalones. So these are in no particular order. I have The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. So this book, this whole series, the movies, it's, yeah, I've never read it before, so I need to. Angel Fall by Susan E. I've had this for years. It's a series I need to start, so that's why it's here. Before I Die by Jenny Downham. I've owned this book for a few years now, and it's a book that I really, really want to read soon. I know it's gonna get me right here in the feels, but I'm all ready for it. I Was Here by Gail Borman. This is a book that is on a list of books that I need to read, and so that's why it's here, plus it's Girl Woman. A couple of books by John Green that I still haven't read yet, Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan, as well as An Abundance of Catherines by John Green. So I've owned these for a few years now, still haven't read them. I'm very sceptical too because Thought and Our Stars is still my favourite book from John Green. The Iron King by Julie Kagawa. This is like, I think it's possibly her first series ever that she wrote. And the Iron of Fate series, I own all the books. I think I do anyway. <laughs> and this is the first one. This is on the list of books that I need to read as well. But I'm also intrigued because I love Julie Kagawa. Her book, The Immortal Rules. Blood of Eden is so good. So I'm looking forward to reading her Fae series. Next of all, I have Girl Missing by Sophie McKenzie. This is another book that's on a list of mine to read. I, yeah, I've owned this for a few years now and it sounds really intriguing. Some of you guys will be really excited to see this book. This Savage Song by V.E. Schwab is on my TBR purely because I would like to start this. <laughs> hopefully this year, like this is the year that I start V.E. Schwab. I've only ever read one book by Victoria Schwab before and that's The Archived, which the writing I couldn't quite get into, but it's on my to reread list. So I'm going to see what this series is like and hopefully I can get around to reading it in 2019. Then I have If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Div Rosso, another book that's on a list of books to read, but I'm intrigued about this book. I mean, not only is it in Zoella's book club, there's a quote by Jennifer Niven, one of my favourite authors ever. I think this is an LGBTQIA plus novel too, so awesome. Then I have Solitaire by Alice Oseman, which I think this is on here because of mental health rep. So that's why it's here. And Alice Oseman, I hear a lot of things about this author, so that's another reason why it's here. Level 2 by the Lord Applehands. This is a book that's on the list as well as a book that I've owned for years so I think they changed the name to this book like so it's not called level two anymore so yeah not heard anybody talk about it so I should give it a read. Buttercup Mash by Joanna Nardim. This I'm not sure if it's a middle grade or a young adult book actually the girl looks well, she looks quite young, but then when you look really closely, she does actually look like she's probably in her early teens. So this book I've owned for a few years, and it's also on a list of books to read. The Magician's Apprentice by Trudy Canavan. A lot of you will probably be surprised to see this on my immediate TBR shelf, because it's massive for one, and because it's an adult fantasy, and it's Trudy Canavan. So it's kind of like, why is this here? This is here, it's on a list of books that I was going to read, I think in 2016 perhaps, like tops books I'm going to read then. I've owned it for a few years as well. But guys, it says, right, that there's over 700 pages. But it looks bigger, doesn't it? So 
you know, whether it will happen this year, who knows. Next of all, I have Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro. It's a movie, and it was on a list of books for me to read, and it's Ishiguro. So that's why it's here. And then I have Gunslinger, or The Gunslinger, the first book by Stephen King, Dark Tower, book number one. Obviously, they made a movie of this. And it's here because it's on a list, as well as I need to read a Stephen King book. Next of all, I have The Winner's Curse by Marie Witkowski, a book that I've owned for a few years and it's on a list of books for me to read so I'm very very excited about this one because I have heard good things. Night School by C.J. Dougherty. I've owned this for a few years as well because I remember getting the sequel for review. I haven't got around to reading this yet. I think I remember getting the sequel for review. I got sent it unsolicited so that's why I got this but I know it's vampires so I'm very excited. Goodbye Days by Jeff Zentner. This was on a list of books to read and I think it was in the books to read in either 2017 or even last year. I can't really remember but yes I'm all for it. Blood Promise by Rochelle Mead. This is the fourth book I think in the Vampire Academy series. I love this series so much. This one will be a reread for me and it's the next book that I'm in the middle of reading and the reason it's on this list is because I need to continue on with this series and hopefully get it finished in 2019. Just Listen by Sarah Dessen. I think this was on a mental illness rap book list, I think. Apparently there's some sort of rap in there. So that's why it's here. Also, I've owned this book for a few years, so I'm looking forward to seeing what I think about this one. The Accident Season by Moira Fowley Doyle. Again, it's on a list of books to read and again I've owned it for a while so you'll see like a repeat that a lot of these books are on this bookshelf are books that I have owned for a while or that are on a list so that's why it's on an immediate TBR so yeah I'm looking forward to reading because I know when it was first released it was massively hyped. We All Looked Up by Tommy Wallach I think this is on a list somewhere but I have owned it as well so yeah I'm still looking forward to giving it a read and seeing what I think about it. Am I Normal Yet by Holly Bourne. This is on a mental health book representation list. Also, it's Holly Bourne's first book that's in this sort of series. It's the first book that I bought by this author and I still haven't read it yet, so that's why it's on this TBR shelf. Don't Look Back by Jennifer L. Armantrout. This is her standalone young adult novel. Still haven't read it. Jennifer Armantrout is one of my auto buy authors. Yeah, I still haven't read this book, so yeah, it's on this list because I need to get it read and I think it was also on a list of books to read in a year as well. Vicious by V.E. Schwab. Again, some of you guys are going to be really excited to see this. It's on a lot of people's top books of the year, especially Vengeful as well, which I believe is a sequel. So you guys will be excited to see this and that's why this book is here. Headshub Clouds by Annabel Pitcher. I believe this book was on a list of books to read. Look at these burrows as well, it's really funky. So that's why this book's here for me to read. The Princess and the Captain by Anne Law Bondu. This is one of the oldest books on my TBR. Still haven't read it. But yeah, it sounds really cool. Just the ship and pirates and yeah, sounds really cool. So it's on this list for that reason. And it's also on a list of books to read. The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. This is on a couple of lists, I think, as well as I have owned it for a while. Plus it's the bone season. I really, really want to read this. It sounds really good and I look forward to it. Delirium by Dee Shulman. This I think is on a list as well as I need to get it read. I've owned it for a while. That's why it's here. The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. So this book, it's on a list. It's also on one of my books to read in 2019 as well. So that's why it's here massively hyped it's very popular and i'm looking forward to giving it a read this year you had me at hello by Meharry mcfarlane this is a chiclet novel it's been on a top book to read in a year that's why it's here and i look forward to reading it crazy rich asians by kevin kwan this is a popular book i think it's on a book for me to read this year as well i can't remember see i've already forgotten about the lists of books that i want to read this year so I'm really excited about it because there's also a movie, so yeah. Amy and Matthew by Cammie McGovern. This is a different name in America. 
I think it's called like say what you will or something like that I don't know anyway this is a mental health representational book that's why it's here it's on that list and I look forward to reading it Moxie by Jennifer Matteo this is here because I think it's on the books that I need to read this year that's on my 2019 list it's very popular it was very popular when it first came out it was on a couple of people's top books of 2018 as well so that's why it's here and I'm very excited for it. Then I have Zoe Plays Games, book number nine. I'm currently rereading the other books. I've just finished this month the second book. So I'll be reading the third book in February. So this is the next book which I haven't read yet. So that's why this is here because once I reach this book I'll be continuing on with this series. Next of all I have Fallen Kingdoms by Morgan Rose. This was on my first ever book haul. Still haven't read it. I find with fantasy I'm very hit and miss as it is, so I think that's just why. But it's very, very hyped as well. So in 2019, it's time. The Extinction Trials by S.M. Wilson. This is here because it was one of my unwrapped books for last year that I didn't get around to reading. I'm very excited because this is Hunger Games meets Jurassic Park, and I've heard really interesting things about this book actually. And since then it's received a sequel. So yeah, I'm very excited about this one. Then I have Gemina by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This is the second book that's in the Illuminae Files series. And I am on this book. So I reread Illuminae last year. And I gave it four stars. I'm not I'm not into it as I am with other people. I don't know because the first time I read it, I physically read it and I gave it four and a half stars. Second time I <laughs> I kind of read a little bit of it but mostly listened to it on audiobook and then I get four stars so I don't know maybe it's best if I just read it physically I know that the audiobooks are really good because they're like full cast and everything but sometimes I just get a bit confused with that sort of thing so I'm thinking I'm going to just read it physically but this is the next book that's in the series that I would like to read so that's why it's here Save the Date by Morgan Manson it's a popular book release I think it's on my 2019 list of books to read, that's why it's here. So yeah, and I'm really excited to read it actually because Morgan Matson. And I feel the shame that I didn't get around to reading it last year, so that's why it's here. I Have Lost My Way by Gail Foreman. I didn't get to read this last year, so that's why it's here because I vow to give it a read and to see what I think about it. So yeah, hopefully I do enjoy that one. And then I have The Impossible Knife of Memory by Laurie Horst Anderson. This is here because it's on a list of books for me to read. So yeah, I haven't really heard anybody talk about it, especially not as a recent, so it would be interesting. Then I've got I'll Give You the Sun by Andy Nelson. I remember receiving this actually when they were doing the Leave a Book Foundation sort of thing where it was like, leave a book in a random place so I left one at work I left one at a bus stop I, I was given like five copies and then I could keep one myself so this is I'll Give You the Sun by Andy Nelson and it was actually on a couple of people's top books of 2018 as well so that's why it's here and I think it's also here because it does have some sort of mental illness representation as well so that'll be intriguing Raised by Wolves by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I feel like this is on a list because why else would I put this here? I literally can't remember any of my lists whatsoever, like what is my life? So this is the first book that's in this, I think it's a werewolf series. I, I've owned it for a while. I feel like I'm gonna really enjoy it though. And then I've got Mystic City by Theo Lawrence. I think this was possibly in my second book haul. I'm not entirely sure, but I've owned it since then, so I need to get it read. Next of all, The Girl with All the Gifts by M. R. Carey. This is a book that's on a list of books that I need to read. Possibly 30 books to read before I'm 30. Possibly. So, yeah. And I believe it's kind of like a zombie book. That's all I'm kind of aware. Blood Red Road by Moira Young. I think this is also my list of books to read before I'm 30 as well. And it's a dystopian series, so it'd be good. Switched by Amanda Hocking, this is on our top books to read in whatever year, can't remember what year it was. I've owned it for so long, I've got the whole trilogy. 
the Trill Trilogy. So yeah, I'm looking forward to reading it and seeing what I think about it. Then I've got Nemesis by Brendan Wright. This was on a book list, I think, possibly to read in 2018. So that's why that's here. Then I've got Air of Fire by Sarah J Mass. This is a series that I need to continue on with, so that's why that's here. This is the third book in the Throne of Glass series. This is the current one I'm on. So I'm going to start from the beginning and just, I'm going to read it physically because I was not connecting with the audiobook, so that's why that's here. Fifty Shades Darker by E.R. James. The second book that's in the Fifty Shades of Grey trilogy. I'm trash for it, I'm sorry. Like, I gave the first book four stars, so I actually kind of like enjoyed it in a way. So I've seen the movie of this one, so I kind of know what happens already, but I just want to... I just want to read it because you know what can I say next book is size 12 is not fat by Meg Cabot this is the first book that's in her adult series her Heather Wells mystery series I've owned this for years it's on a list of books to read that's why it's here then I have a court of wings and ruin by Sarah J Mass and actually I just realized I do need to get a court of frost and starlight out from downstairs because I need to read that as well but I'm now onto this book, this in this series. It's chunky, my god. Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I really want to read this trilogy. And there is a forward bit by Meg Cabot of why you should read it. So I'm obviously I'm gonna listen to Meg Cabot, aren't I? So yeah, I'm really excited to give it a read. And it's on a list of books to read, I believe. And then I have a trailers by Kate Levan. This is my book that's on the list. So that's why that's here. Then I've got Zodiac by Romina Russell. I think this is on the list as well. But also the fact that it's here could inspire me for a book novel idea that I've got. So yeah, I'm really interested about that. All Your Perfects by Colin Hoover. This is a book that's on the list for me to read in 2019, so I'll be reading it this year. Very excited about it. It's Colin Hoover's latest release, so looking forward to that. A lot of you guys are going to be very excited to see this next book because it was on nearly everyone's top books of 2018. And that is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I finally got it. I got it with some Christmas tokens. Very excited about it to see what I think about it. Next of all I have Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Elias Sands. This book, it's an LGBT plus novel and it's also in a list of books I need to read and also it's very popular. And I think it's on a 2019 book list as well for me to read so that's why that's there. Then I've got Confessed by Colin Hoover which is another one of my books and I think this is on a list or it's got some sort of representation in it which is why it's here. All in all I'm very excited to give it a read anyway. Then I've got The Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Archer, the first book that's in the Raven Cycle. It's very popular here on Booktube and I don't know if it's on my 2019 list, I can't remember off the top of my head. All I know is that it's here because I need to read it. So I'm all for that. These books are going to fall on me in a second. I've got two left from this shelf now. First of which is Where She Went by Gail Foreman, which is the sequel to If I Stay, which I kind of enjoyed, but yeah, so I'm, I'm intrigued all the same. And then 172 Hours on the Moon by Johan Harstad, which I think was in my second book haul. So I think that's why that's here. And I've, I've been told it's very eerie. It's a very eerie sci-fi novel. So that is shelf numero two. Now I'm going to move on to the final third shelf, which is like down here. You can't see it, but these are my hardback books that are on this shelf. So in no particular order, let's go. I'm going to start with Wither by Lauren de Stefano. This is in my first ever book haul. That's why this book is here. I'm actually intrigued to read this book actually. I kind of feel like I'd like it. Who knows? Next of all I have You Against Me by Jenny Downham. This was on a top books to read list of whatever year. Alive by Scott 
Sigla. This is here just because I really have an intriguing sense of reading it. Passenger by Alexandra Bracken. Again, that's why it's here because it just sounds so intriguing. Waitlist by Sarah Bannon. I think this is a list of books to read. Baking Normal by Courtney C. Stevens. It's on a list somewhere of books to read and also it's very popular. It's really enjoyed actually. So again, that's why it's there. The Cool by Piedar O'Gwillin. This is on a list of books to read in some sort of year. And then I have Stopped the Train by Geraldine McCoughlin, which is probably one of my oldest books on my TBR, which I still haven't read. I got this when I was a mere teenager. And it's signed. <sighs> so yeah, I just that's why it's here. It just needs to be read. The Last Time We Say Goodbye by Cynthia Hand. It's a book that I just really want to read soon. 100 Sideways Mars by Andrew Smith. I pulled it out on a TBR last year, still don't get around to reading it, so that's why it's here. And then I've got The Problem With Forever by Jennifer L. Armentrout. It's a Jennifer Armentrout book. That's why it's here. I haven't read it yet, so it's shameful. Then I have The Bloodstone by Jim Jamila Gavin. So, this book, another really old book. I've had this since I was a teenager as well, so that's why it's here. It's literally one of the oldest books on my TBR. Next of all, we have A Darkest Shade of Magic by Victoria Schwab. A lot of you guys are going to be like, yes, Katie, yes. So, back when I used to get Owl Crate, I received this. So it's the American Hardback. I'm very excited to read it, actually. Like, very intrigued, very excited. Yeah, it's on a lot of people's books of 2018, so it needs to be done. Warcross by Marie Lou. Very intrigued about it because I love computer games and everything. The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. This is here because it's very popular. I've got the sequel to it as well. I did put it on a TBR at some point last year. Didn't get around to reading it, so again, that's why this book is here. Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rush. I started reading this a few years ago when it first came out. Then I stopped for some reason. I was enjoying it, so I don't know why I stopped. It's silly, but that's why it's here, so I can continue. Isla and the Happily Ever After by Stephanie Perkins. How many TBRs have I put this on last year? I still haven't read it. This will be completing a series, so that's why that book is here. It needs to be done. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, parts one and two, based on the story by J.K. Rowling, but it's basically the play that's in London. So it's the book to the play. It's there because it's a Harry Potter book and it's got to be read. Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare. Book number two is in the Final Devices trilogy. This is the next book that I'm on to read. This is the next Cassandra Clare because I'm reading it in publication order like all of her works. This will be read this year. Don't worry about it. I'm very excited to read it because I really enjoyed the first book which I read for the first time in 2018. So yeah, and then When the Curtain Falls by Carrie Hope Fletcher, this is her latest book release and that's why it's here, because I really really want to give it a read. Anna Darkened by Kiss and White, this was on a TBR at some point last year. It's here because it needs to be read. That's just plain and simple, really. Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin, this is on my first ever TBR. I had the paperback release, so I recently, since then, about a year ago, bought the hardcover copy, someone was getting rid of them actually. So for 50 quid, got the whole set and hardback, which is crazy because they're all literally worth like 25 quid or more each. I saved so much money. I'm sorry. But it's huge guys, it's huge. But it needs to be read. I've got to at least start it in 2019, you know. Daughter of Smoking Bay Melania Taylor. This is on one of my lists for 2019. So it's on the list to be read. Lone Tyler. This cover's so pretty as well. Like, look at it, it's so shiny. So yeah, so I've got to start that book this year as well. Then I've got Carry On by Ray Morale. I need to read this, guys, because it's just ridiculous, so that's why that book is here. And then I've got Thousand Nights by E.K. Johnson. This is another book that I started, didn't continue on with, but I was really, really enjoying this one, actually. So that's why it's here, so I can read more of it. In the After by... 
Dimitri Lunetta. This was a book that was on a TBR last year that I didn't get to read and I feel ashamed because I should have done the same with Avalon by Mindy Arnett. This was another book that I pulled out of a TBR jar to read and I didn't get around to reading it. So that's why it's here. It's here to be read. And I've got another Jennifer Owen trial book which is If There's No Tomorrow, another standalone of hers. It's here so that it's going to be read. Black Ice by Becca Fitzpatrick. This is a book that I pulled out of a TBR to read. Didn't get around to reading it. Perfected by Kate Jarvett Birch. I've owned this for a few years. Yeah, just need to get it read. TTFN by Laura Miracle. I've read the first book in this series, the Internet Girls series. It's just like instant messenger style. So it's easy to flick through, but it's here because I need to continue on the series. Same with Allegiant by Veronica Roth, even though I know what happens, I got spoiled on it. I need to complete the trilogy. So that's why that book is here. Black City by Elizabeth Richards is, I think it was on my second TBR of the year, so that's why it's here. I am very intrigued about this still, so it needs to be read. Empress of a Thousand Skies by Rhoda Beleza. I probably butchered that completely, but this is here because I really, really want to give it a read. Made You Up by Francesca Zappia. The reason that's here is because I loved Public Eliza and the Monsters. It was so good. Next of all, Talon by Julie Kagawa. Love Julie Kagawa. So her Talon book series, Dragons, just that's all I'm gonna say. Next of all, Dread Nation by Justina Ireland. It's here because of zombies, like historical fiction zombies, like I'm all for it, like literally all for it. Then I've got In Some Other Life by Jessica Brody. I love her so, so much. I've also got Geography of Lost Things by Jessica Brody. They're here because they're going to be read. And then Lucky in Love by Casey West. I haven't read her book of that yet. And I've got Nil Unlocked by Lynn Matson, by the first book. Love it so, so much, so that's why that's here. In a Handful of Dust by Minty McGuinness. Again, by the first book, loved it. Just haven't got around to reading it. And then The Forbidden Wish by Jessica Curry. Yeah, I just, I really want to read that book. Panic by Lauren Oliver. This is on a list of books to read, so that's why that's here. I've owned it for a while as well. Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nyang and this was in quite a few people's top books of 2018 so that's why this is here. Then I've got a four, the Divergent Collection by Veronica Roth. So like novellas basically. How Do You Like Me Now by Holly Bourne. This is her adult novel. That's why it's here. And then Carve the Mark by Veronica Roth, the blue edged edition. I can't believe I found it. I was so so happy. Oh, so so happy. So so happy. And then Emergency Contact by Marie HK Choi, which you may or may not have seen yet because this I received in January. So those are all her books. So there you have it guys. Those are all the books that were on my TBR shelf behind me as well as the crate. Just here which is my tbl quote which basically are just books i couldn't fit onto this shelf which is right here but those are my immediate tbr books books i need to continue on the series with books that i really really want to read in 2019 books that were on lists i didn't get to in other years and so on and so forth so it's a bit of a mixture but hey ho that's it do you know what i worked out earlier i was like because I've set a goal of 40 books to read in 2019, which is like a book a week initially, so I was counting how many books are on the shelf. It's pretty much the whole back and top bit of the shelf comes to 30-ish books. If I add my TBR, that's 40. It's crazy when I think that the amount of books to read in a year would just be a shelf worth like this. It's manic. So my aim is to read a shelf's worth of books 
anyway i hope you guys have enjoyed these books if you have read any of these books let me know down below in the comments what you managed to think about them if there's any books that you think i should immediately read in 2019 then let me know as well let me know even if there's some books that you didn't enjoy i just like to start a conversation about it and talk about it really so yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this video do give me a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it and hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day wherever you are all of my social media links if you'd like to follow me elsewhere will be linked down below in the description box for you for you but i will link as i say my reaction to my first book haul and my second book haul which i've done reactions of which i'll link down below as well if you'd like to see my reactions of what books i've read what books i haven't read and that sort of thing and it's for your leisure and your enjoyment so that's it from me guys keep smiling keep reading and be happy my name is katie and i'll see all of you wonderful awesome people in my next video bye